Introducing Google Pixel Fold. First look at Google's first foldable phone. This is the Pixel Fold. This is the new folding phone from Google. Apple. Finally announced the Pixel Fold. So a couple of weeks ago, Google showed us their Pixel Fold, which means this is the version, the Android version of this foldable technology. Even though Samsung and other manufacturers made their foldables using Android, but this, like, Google owns Android, right? So this is the default, or at least it should be the default foldable technology or foldable series from Google, right? Yeah, there's a problem with that. Let's go. The Pixel Fold's design is already a known thing before the event even started. They're really bad at keeping their secrets. Like before the event even started, we already know the design very well. How the design is going to look, how the screen is going to look. And also Google itself made tweets and stories on Instagram using the Pixel Fold design before the event like it clearly shows how bad they are at keeping their secrets. Now this problem aside. There's another problem, which is, yeah, the tablet or slash phone. The design is very, very similar to all the other folds that have been released. Yeah, whatever you call this as. The camera bump is very pixely styled. If you can, if there is like pixely word, I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's like the same design language as the flagship or as the high-end phone that Google have ever made thinnest foldable on the market. We had to pack a flagship level phone into nearly half the thickness, which meant completely redesigning components like the telephoto lens, and the battery, and a lot more. And yeah, it's good. You know, it's not like crazy or something like that. And also the display and all the specs are like kind of the best Google can give for now. I don't know. Yeah, the screen, it has enough resolution and also the like possibly one of the best high refresh rates and the colors and all of that. It's, it's all pretty nice, you know. It's all like not mind blowing. It's not like high end, crazy spec up. Like it's, it's not going to like surprise any people with the specs. But the inner display is wow. Like this is looking really ugly. Like why Google? Now, hear me out. Some people could argue about these bezels, like, yeah, it, it produces better front-facing camera images and videos than most of the flagships or most of the foldable phones, right? But I don't really think there's a much of a difference between the, like, the hole punch cutout and the, like, the bezel with, like, these thick, uneven bezels and also, like, the image quality wouldn't be that much different while just having a hole punch cut up, right? Like, I don't know. Mm, it's, it's not looking good. Even at 2023, like, we are just going from this under display camera technology, we are going heads towards that, and Google is going to launch their highest and most priced out phone. At least, how good is the hardware, you may ask? And for the price, it's bad so tensor g2 google self-made soc found on the pixel 7 series this chip is very mid-range to flagship tier performance it's like in between that it's not very high-end very powerful and efficient processor and also it's not like very mid-range like it's a not it's not a bad processor also it's not a good processor it's, it's in in the middle heavy games heavy multitasking and also all the like heavy workloads it just easily throttles and you can just see and the benchmark is not going to crush all of those it's a very meh kind of a chip which i think is really bad but the processor is beneficial in some parts which includes the software. From new form factors and customizability to biometrics and computational photography, Android has always been at the forefront of mobile industry breakthroughs. So from out of the box, it runs Android 13 for Fold. They don't call it for Fold, but yeah, it's like optimized for these bigger screens. And also they introduced some couple of like features for 
easier multitasking and all of those. And yeah, what are those beneficials? What are the features that has been added that is beneficial from this chip? There's quite a few. And one of the features includes the navigation dock. I don't know what officially Google calls it, but as found on the desktop, the dock is a feature that shows recent apps and also you can pin apps down below and you can access it via the navigation bar by just swiping and the animation is gorgeous I just love it it's just very smooth and bubbly and it follows the general like Google animation which I really like besides that there's more than 50 apps optimized for this bigger screen which includes um, Disney Plus TikTok I don't know how do you optimize it but yeah I guess it's vertical maybe I don't know but it's optimized with more than 50 apps and all sorts of that and there is about like a couple of apps that is optimized with this chip yeah that is basically the new features for this fold so at the end is this a really like competitive foldable from Google no for the price which starts at 1800 US dollars which is like pretty crazy competing with the other flagships and other foldable smartphones from other manufacturers it's very tough to just choose this over the competition and also uh, like many ways this just being killed by other smartphone specs and also the optimization and also the feature and all of those stuff it's not a good move but let's say this if google's motive is just only to see how people react with this foldable technology where they are just entering this new market if that is the case or to just popularize this new foldable smartphone from google even easier because it has these all those downgrades maybe i don't know but it's not a good move as i would say so yeah i don't know it's one of those weird situations where weird things enter onto these weird fields and does weird things and gets really good results when it moves forward yeah it's not looking good for google right now i don't know let me know what you guys think subscribe if you can so that's pretty much it catch you guys in the next one cheese